everybody loves to recruit salespeople or not. And one of the things that we face in that is that there's truth and then there's the real truth. Part of finding out the difference between those two really requires that we use a sales-specific, highly accurate assessment to be able to look at the things you don't see in an interview unless you know you have to go looking for them. So one of the things I've found over the years is that the response of candidates to actually going through the process of taking the assessment is very telling about what they will and won't do once they're in a sales role. And quite honestly, we get emails from people telling us why they won't take the assessment. Looking at what they've said helps to be able to learn what does this stuff really mean? So if you take a candidate who says, no, I'm not going to take this, where are or, or, or what are some of the things which that might identify if they had taken the assessment? For instance, do they struggle with rejection? Do they have need for approval? Do they tend to want to be liked? Are they willing to be open-minded and introspective? Are they the kind of person who's going to work in a team environment? Will you be able to coach them? And so I would suggest that the information you get when people don't want to go through the process that you've asked them to go through is oftentimes even more important than the information that you do get. And it may help you to really not go down a path that ultimately could end badly. So hopefully this video and this article will help you with that. Thanks and hope you're doing well. Take care.